comes home and he gets diagnosed with terminal cancer. I can't imagine lying in that bed toward the end if the insurance company could have come in and said, this administration has no idea what hard work and decent ordinary Americans are going through. A level house that was in a safe neighborhood and with four kids and, as I said, a relative. Um, you know, we had, Donald Trump inherited a strong economy from Barack and me. Things were beginning to really move. And just like everything else he's inherited, he's in the midst of squandering it. Squandering it. We need to build an economy. We need to build an economy that, in fact, rewards work, not just wealth. It reflects our values. And that's going to start — I'm going to start by reversing the Trump tax cuts for the super wealthy and corporations. Labor <laughs> lost a job because of a recession or because of a company went under. My dad used to say, and I give you my word to this, and most of all, we don't deserve a president who goes out of his way to make life in America harder, crueler, pettier. He said he's working for the, got the forgotten American. Well, he forgot about the forgotten American. The American middle class brings dignity and integrity every day to work. They deserve the dignity and integrity reflected in their leaders. The challenges we face are really serious. But I stand here more optimistic than I was when I got elected as a 29-year-old kid to the United States Senate. This guy jumped in the brain on me. We can unite this country. Because, folks, I'm tired of people, Democrats, Republicans, Independents, walking around with their heads down like, woe is me. Folks, this is the United States of America. Stand up. Take it back. We can, in fact, do anything we set our mind to. This is the United States of America. God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.